two. You see how yeah. uh, it's connected, and then down here it's connected again. This you can see the dissecting probe coming through uh -huh. into the atrium. That there's a flap leaning against it. That's uh -huh. the tricuspid valve right there. Okay. So blood would come up from the body and down from the head into this chamber right here through the vena cava. When this contracts, it pushes all the blood into the ventricle through that valve. But that valve flaps closed again when the ventricle contracts. And the only way out of that ventricle is on the other side here, up through into this tube right here, which is the pulmonary artery, and it branches right inside here, and one side goes to either lung, and then they drain back into the left atrium, which is right here, and it has a similar valve, which you can actually see the fibers on right here very nicely, cut it right through the center of the valve, into the left ventricle here, and it works the same way when it contracts, that blood can't go back into the atrium, so it goes out, see it's collapsed pretty tightly, into the aorta here, which is where the dissecting probe is going right now. Move my fingers out of the way. And that blood vessel, you can see it actually here, goes up and turns and starts to form a, a hook shape. <laughs> And inside the body, that hook goes back down right here into the abdomen. And that's the main source of oxygenated blood for the whole body. That's the biggest artery right there. Nice. So when someone with high blood pressure or a connective tissue disease develops something called an aortic aneurysm, it's where the stretchy muscle on the side of that blood vessel right in this spot right here where it's just finished the bend stretches like a over inflated balloon and falls its way out and fills up with way too much blood um, and that's people with an aortic aneurysm can um, you know if their blood pressure goes high or their heart rate goes high because they've been scared or they take a lot of caffeine or something it can actually pop that and then that's not good. <laughs> not good. That's like usually fatal in yeah. 30 seconds or so. Um, which is why they take that seriously. But it's also the most protected place in the body. It's behind all of the other organs in the chest and the rib cage against the spine. It's got well guarded.